The lines for free food in Orlando seem to continuously get bigger as hospitality workers are especially being hit hard by the business effects of the pandemic. SeaWorld says many of its furloughed workers will now be permanently laid off. The theme park says the ongoing pandemic has cut too deeply into its revenue, forcing the changes. SeaWorld filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission and clarifying the job status change. The moves causing turmoil for, for former employees and disrupting a local economy. These hospitality companies like Universal and SeaWorld that made billions in the economic boom are now just kicking workers to the curb with nothing. And now they're in line you know, for food that they can't afford on their own. SeaWorld is not specifically uh, saying how many workers were let go, but says it will spend millions in employee severance costs. As the country deals with the COVID-19 pandemic, one artist is working to bring attention to another epidemic the U.S. is dealing with, gun violence. She's doing this through art. Leslie Lee is Portland-based. She's a Portland-based artist who founded the Soul Box Project. After the Las Vegas strip shooting, she began researching statistics about guns and shootings in the U.S. She decided to depict the problem visually with origami projects she calls soul boxes. Each one represents a person killed or injured by gunfire. In order to have a response, which is, I don't want to be part of this problem. The artist plans to take the Soul Box project on the road once she's able to travel, and the plans are on hold due to the pandemic. And coming up after the break, one local fire department in need of money to pay for a new fire truck. Well, they got some support from the community today.